So this is just a quick intro uh, of what I'm going to show you in the video. Like I said, I just like to talk about before I jump into the clips, what's what I'm using, what I'm doing, and it's going to be based this time around on my Warlock Solar 3.0 Claws of Arm and Kara. Some I haven't seen a lot of. Uh, what these do is to give you an additional melee charge. So we're going to have two melee charges up all of the time, uh, and if you run it with this one here, Heat Rises. If you look at the bottom part of it, final blows while airborne, increase the duration of heat rises and grant melee energy. That last sort of few words there, heat rises and grant melee energy while you're in the air. So you can get chunks of your, grenade, of your melee energy back as long as you get kills in the air. It's stupid. You don't even have to be floating. You can just get a kill and jump as you're just about to kill something. And if you jump as your sort of weapon or whatever you're using kills an enemy you're going to get chunks of it back so you can consistently run around with either one melee or two melees all of the time and then i've got it set up where uh, my powered melee attacks against combatants make you and my nearby allies radiant which is a 25 percent uh, damage buff for yourself and your team and then the melee that i'm going to show you is celestial fire this is by far the best melee on the warlock in my opinion celestial fire it sends out a spiral of free explosive solar energy blast and the range on it is absolutely ridiculous you can hit a champion from across the map 40 50 meters away not a problem and you're going to get two of these with your claws of arm and carry and the two mods that i've been running is withering heat and revitalizing blast and this is the key part of the video withering heat causing damage with a solar ability where you can champions for a short duration it's a 30 percent debuff you're going to debuff that enemy to 30 percent so you're going to get an extra 30 percent damage increase towards them plus you're going to get the 25 percent radiant for you and your teammates so you're looking at a 55 percent damage buff one way or another with celestial fire two melees and then just quickly going to touch on revitalizing blast whenever i stun something it's also going to do like a massive explosion and if you've got withering heat on that target as well that's going to increase that damage also so there you go i'm going to show you some show you some uh, clips now and it absolutely destroys champs seriously you'll be impressed so just to show you i popped into a lost sector it's 1590 by the way so it's still quite a high one and you're going to see me doing a loop i'm going to stick my melee on to apply the withering heat and then a fusion grenade so a melee fusion grenade and bang boom gone yellow numbers everywhere burning explosions so really really good again the loop that i'm going to be see you'll see that i'm doing most of the time is melee fusion grenade absolutely trolling gm champs trolling them easy days didn't even have to hardly move so melee fusion grenade that's the sort of loop you don't have to use the fusion grenade you can use something else i just found that is the best you can run a, a solar grenade but the fusion grenades on the other fragment that I've got set up on my warlock, it makes them explode twice, does some serious damage which I'll go through and this is just, look at the range on that, I can apply that withering heat, and I've also got two melees there so I'll apply two, so in that clip there what I was doing was I was applying the withering heat to that champion from quite a distance and I was giving my friends the radiant buff of 25% plus the 30% withering heat debuff, me and my teammates both uh, get that get that benefit so it's really strong just a, just another clip of me sticking the withering heat on from quite a distance and you'll notice there bottom left if you watched my teammates are also going to get a radiant buff with me so again radiant buff and the withering heat applied just with one melee from literally anywhere where you're standing really really good uh, and this was the insight terminus that i was doing last night i think we was farming this in about 13 14 minutes something like that and all we was using was free outbreak primes and storm chasers and with withering heat we was absolutely just chewing through these champions so if you're farming the lost uh, the gm this week or even the the uh, nightfall i definitely recommend running free outbreak primes and somebody with withering heat again melee there just applying that and i'm going to stick him with a fusion grenade just to absolutely rinse him and then in this clip what i've done is i've left this one on purpose because you'll see that i don't actually have any uh withering heat available i can't put my melee or my grenade onto him and this is how long the sort of tick and 
normally you just you can see the difference how quick they're dying when I don't have if you look at the other clips and then what I'm going to do with the unstoppable champ that stood next to him I'm going to apply withering heat to him so you can see the, how quick they go down once you've got the withering heat on look at that that is the difference it's pretty clear so yeah stick around I'm going to show you the full build how I've got it set up uh, you can just chill through champions like I said stay tuned full build incoming this is my full setup now I'm currently running the new monarchy drip let me know what you think bit of precast of X chrome on there I think it looks pretty dope I miss my new monarchy anyway here is the full setup revitalizing blast and withering heat the two main ones you can switch that out if you want solar formation but I recommend running these two together I am also running elemental ordinance uh, an elemental charge just so I can get charged while I picking up an elemental well is going to make me charge while I which is going to enable me to run high energy fire uh, high energy fire is a 20% damage increase as well to your weapons which is all stacking with withering heat and the radiant buff so it's a good 70 to 75% uh, damage increase the other sort of mod to sort of take into account is shield break charge breaking an enemy shield is also going to make me charge with light and like i said in gms and end game activities you're always going to have a uh, shielded enemies that you're going to be wanting to like take advantage of that shield break charge with uh, aspects and fragments i'm running touch of flame so this is the one that makes your grenades like cracked basically the firebolt grenade or whatever grenade you run i usually stick to the fusion grenade because it explodes twice and once you've got that withering heat on you're going to do some serious damage as you've seen in the clip uh, heat rises uh, i run this purely just for the bottom bit really uh, whenever you get kills when you're in the air it's going to give you chunks of melee energy back so that one's quite strong fusion grenade uh, celestial fire don't run the incendiary snap on this build it's pointless just for the, for this type of thing celestial fire is the one you want it's got so much range uh, healing rift is what i stick with personally i'm a bit boring but if you're a bit more adventurous you're feeling a bit frisky go over an empowering rift like i said i'm a boring git so i stick to the healing rift uh, fragments ember of eruption ember of torches ember of solace and ember of ashes Ember of Ashes is quite a good one because it applies more Scorch to targets. Once you get that target to 100 Scorch, they're going to explode. So that's the setup. I hope you enjoyed the clips, the vid. Keep an eye out for the dim link in the description. Have a great day.